Hi there and welcome back. In this video presentation, we will be focusing on the platelets. What happens if there are too many platelets or what happens if there are too reduced platelets, okay? So, let's move on to the high platelet count. So, that is known as thrombocytosis or the thrombocytemia, where you have increased platelet count. Now, my increases can happen due to the infection and uh, with the iron deficiency anemia or due to the acute bleeding. And why is that? Because it is obvious. Remember, one of the prior video presentation we were talking about when there is a bleeding, the platelets, they say, hey, we need to cover this bleeding. So, you will see the spike in the platelets and that could lead to uh, the increased platelet count and or simply speaking the thrombocytosis but when it goes and, and that could be in the range of up to 500 or so but when you see in the medical records that the platelet counts goes that high then mostly that is due to the malignancies it could be due to the P vera cancer CML or basically the essential thrombocytemia so that that brings extra mortality right there on the table and when that happens unfortunately it leads to clotting and it's not that there are too many platelets so they are all going to work many of them with the malignancies are not working and then it can also lead to bleeding okay so that is about the high platelet count on the other hand if we look at the next slide so you can have low platelet count okay so that is known as thrombocytopenia and again the most common causes are ITP or SLE also plays a role the drug reaction anemia hemolytic anemia are all common you may end up having a false positive okay and that could be a normal variant just like once in a while you see on a routine EKG for no reason there are some abnormalities and then you get the medical records and then you figure that out or order the antipro BNP as your company dictates if you don't see any of those then another big actor is the alcohol alcohol also is the one of the leading factor that can lead to the low platelet count so if none of these things are present and then you should suspect alcohol whether the insure has admitted or not you need to think in that direction and order appropriate additional requirements as needed the chronic liver disease or the spleen is uh, overacting HIV infections, hepatitis C or the malignancies can all cause the low platelet count and when it gets very low like 20 to 30 thousand then of course the bleeding can occur. So this is just a quick rundown on the platelets you can have a too high platelet or and or you can have a too low platelets and what it means and what are the causes that can lead to. You want to correlate as you read the medical records look at the diagnosis remember anemia is not the diagnosis but that is the finding so rate for the cause and watch out for the actual final diagnosis having said that even anemia per se brings extra mortality on table okay see you soon take care bye bye